Hello guys, welcome to the channel and in today's video I'm going to take you through how to use your Chorus watch to complete their running fitness test. So we'll break this video down into three short parts. Firstly, what is the fitness test? Secondly, how do you go about conducting it? And then finally, we'll look at some of my data from my recent test and see what that is telling me and how I'm going to use that in my training and my races moving forward. So the first part, what is the fitness test itself? Well, it is preloaded onto your Chorus watch. All you need to do is navigate through the menu screens like I'm doing here. Before you start the test, it will need to take your kind of most recent or best estimate of a 10K time. This is gonna be used to create the zones that you're gonna be running in, the pace zones that you're gonna be running in. It's really important that you are sort of honest about this. Don't just put in a time that you have done previously that is your personal best. It needs to be a reflection of where your fitness is now, otherwise the pace zones are going to be all over the place. It's either going to be too easy or it's going to be too hard. If it's too hard, the test will just stop if you're unable to maintain the zones that they're setting for you. So the test is broken up into three main parts. You've got your warm-up and your cool-down, but the bulk of the workout consists of three set blocks. The first one is a 25-minute run at what they would predict to be your marathon pace based off that 10k time. Then you move into two three minute blocks and these get progressively harder based on the paces. Okay five minute warm up is done and into the first block which is 25 minutes at what they predict would be your marathon pace based off that 10k time I selected at the start. So for me that is about 510 to 440 per kilometer. Now those 25 minutes are designed to fatigue your legs, but also to get your body primed and ready for the main sort of key part of the workout, which are the two three minute efforts. Okay, coming into halfway through this 25 minute block, heart rate is about 153 to 156, which is pretty much where I'd expect it to be. I'm feeling fairly comfortable. We're just getting ready for those harder efforts at the end and seeing if I can push and stay within the projected pace the boundaries that they've set for me. What I liked about this test is that there's no break in between the efforts. You don't do 25 minutes, walk around for a couple of minutes, then do the three minute, walk around, then do the three minutes everything ramps one after the other, which I think is a really good sort of way of giving an honest assessment of where your fitness is at. So 25 minute block is complete. We then move in to the first of the three minute efforts, and this is set at around about your 10K pace, and based on that predicted time, and you need to hold this effort for three minutes. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Cool. Now we're off. Okay, now it's 440 to 415. That's quite a big window. So I'm gonna try and stay sort of comfortably in the middle of it. Once that three minutes is up, you'll then move on to the next level, and that is an effort at around about your 5k pace or faster. Okay, five seconds. And then the pace picks up. Okay, 3.50 to 4.15 for three minutes. So at this point now, you should be kind of right on the edge. It shouldn't feel comfortable. It should feel like you're working really, really hard and you're counting down those seconds. Five seconds. And that's it. Whew. No more. Once you finish that final three minute effort, one of two things will happen. Firstly, if Chorus believes that your paces um, and your heart rates are set correctly, then the test will end, you'll have a five minute cool down, and then we can look at some of the data in a moment. If, however, you haven't um, set those paces correctly or your heart rate's low, it might think that you are able to push on a little bit harder, and then it will give you another three minutes. If at the end of those three minutes, it still thinks you've got more in the tank, it'll give you another three minutes. So 
that would be an indication that either a you've underestimated your 10k time and you've you've gone um, slower than actually you are able to do or b your fitness is really improving um, and it needs to sort of push you a little bit more in order to give you some more accurate metrics so test is complete we then get back and we can then look at that data on the chorus app so when i look at mine from the other week when i completed the test the first thing it did is it readjusted all of my um, uh, sort of predicted uh, running time. So I hadn't done one in a really long time or any kind of um, sort of significant fitness test. So it went from my previous um, sort of predicted times, which I knew were uh, going to be a real stretch, to these updated ones. So it gives me my running fitness, which is now 86.3, um, and then I've got all of my my paces. So I can see my endurance threshold, speed, um, and sprint paces. It's updated my VO2 max, it's given me a new threshold heart rate. And then what I do like are the race predictors. Um, I always like to sort of think about whether or not they're accurate or not. And with a half marathon coming up in a couple of uh, sort of days, or maybe I've already done it by the time this video eventually gets out, predicted at 137.15, it's going to be interesting to see how close I can get to that time. Obviously, these are predictions. Things happen on the day. Um, that you know we'll, we'll sort of adjust those times accordingly but it gives you a, an idea of the paces that you could um, be running at so all of my metrics there have been updated and what I will now do is when I launch into a new training program by course which is probably going to be their marathon training program as I get ready for a marathon in October then I will be using that data or the course will be using that data in order to set my paces and my heart rate zones for me. So everything, all the work is already done, which is great. What I'll also do is kind of every six weeks or every eight weeks, I will redo that test. So things will be updated, my metrics will be updated, and then any training plan I'm following will be updated accordingly based on how my fitness is either improving or decreasing. And that is pretty much it. Super simple, really easy to do. Just navigate through your watch menu, find the test itself, block out about an hour. It's a really good workout and something definitely to factor into your training every six to eight weeks to make sure that things are up to date, especially if you are not completing races on a regular basis or hard training runs on a regular basis. Hope the video is of some use. If you have any comments or questions, drop them below. And if you haven't done so already, please hit that like and that subscribe button. And I will see you in a new video very soon. Take care for now.